Test number four using filament as line for the glider. It's rather twisty as you see in the middle, so this probably won't work, but it works. Slides even better on the filament. I added an extra weight on the back. It's actually designed with space under here. You're supposed to put weights in here. If I had any like uh, rolls of pennies or any kind of circular weights like people have, I need to buy myself a set, obviously. Um, then this would hold it down and then I could have this not an issue. That'd be a solid tower. The low one is not an issue. That one slid, but you know what? I put a little barrier on here. It worked fine. And this is with an empty one. Again, how fast could you go down there? And if you extended this one out further, this is uh, basically about two feet. Maybe a bit more than two feet. So how, what great distance could your glider go? Um, how high up can this tower be to how low this can be? Um, can you compete with your friends? So personally, can you do it? How much weight do you need to add? Do you want water? Do you want sand? Do you have the weights? I mean, by all means, get the weights first. But it works. And you have gliders. And I'll go through the actual three choices of gliders. I will reprint this one. It's broken. I obviously need to get a better one for the next video. But cool. Uh, if you had string, I think you'd get more friction. This worked better because it had no friction. It just slid across the filament. The problem was keeping it straight. And yet even as twisted as this kind of is, it slid just fine. So filament is actually so far the best. The garden twine twisted a bit much and actually how it broke was that it twisted around and then the glider fell halfway. In fact, it fell about this point, which is when I inv included the weight and then the weight, it moved just fine. Add the weight and it made it all the way across. So this is more stable. What's better, would a TPU glider work better? I will actually try that. I will try that. Till next video.